Hi friends. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I just wanted to hop on here today and do a little journal page. I'm trying to be more consistent. So hopefully you can look out to for me doing a page pretty often. I'm not going to say how often until it, it feels right and it's the right time to say. But for right now, I'm just trying to let you know. I'm going to be more consistent if possible. So I am in my personal journal. And I am going to use some of the things, just a real simple journal page, just using some of the stuff around my house. Because um, today, I don't think today is actually Valentine's Day, but it's really close to Valentine's Day. So um, I have some paper things that my kids use, like extra little stuff that my kids used um, for Valentine's Day. So I wanted to journal with it. So I'll probably do this here. So... Let me show you what I got. I got this napkin, which I think would be nice. This um, is some vintage, like stationary, kind of matches the napkin. So it might be a nice, I don't know, it seems like it'll go together really well. This is a um, pocket that's added to the page. This is this. this is a letter from a friend. So I'm going to take that off so I can focus on the page and see how I want to do everything. I'm not sure if I want to cover this up or not. I think I will. But do I want to use this one? Or this way? I'm not sure. Now keep in mind. Keep in mind like you should already know. <laughs> I um, am at home. My daughters are here. My youngest is asleep but my oldest is not. I, will ex I expect for her to bust in the room at any moment and start talking. So don't be surprised if that happens. Oh, let me put that away. Yeah, so don't be surprised if that happens. So I'm just going down this piece of um, stationery, vintage stationery, which is something I got from a sec. Uh, I didn't even get this from a thrift store. I got this from an antique shop. So I know that it's old. I just don't know how old or exactly from when or from where, but it's okay. Because sometimes I think you can just imagine the stories that your paper can tell. It doesn't always have to be this. I think people get hung up on that a lot in the journaling community. Which is, you know, it's just one of those things. Like once once stuff starts to take off, then people kind of get hang their little hang-ups or their little um, things that they feel like they have to always have. Like... You know, I have vintage paper, so it has to be from, has to be authentic from the 1920s or authentic from the 1800s. And, but sometimes it's just old paper and it just looks nice. And, and that's okay too. So, you know, don't feel so, don't feel so hung up on what everybody else is doing when you're doing your journaling. I know that that definitely got to me when I first did my journaling because I mean I had no paper trimmer no stamps let's see I didn't really have any paint I still don't really have any paint didn't have the right glue all I had was Elmer's glue I didn't have stained paper I didn't have any vintage ephemera I didn't have any ephemera <laughs> like it was a nightmare I didn't have any other stuff that I felt like I was supposed to have but I finally started to realize that's not really what it's about. It's really just about expressing yourself with stuff that makes you smile. Which actually, that, that too, I didn't have anything that made me smile. I just had a bunch of old stuff. But I just started off with like, just trying to use that stuff. And just using that stuff and practicing with that stuff. When I finally did get to the things that I liked, it made a huge difference. Because by then I had some know-how or a little bit of experience with it. So I wasn't using these pieces that were like, oh, I spent all this money. Which to me, like, just a little bit of money is all this money. Because I'm just in that sort of position right now. So I didn't have that feeling of, oh, I spent all this money and I used the thing wrong. Or the thing didn't turn out like how I wanted it. Because I'd already had some experience just using stuff that wasn't all that super meaningful or all that expensive and I wouldn't even say mastering the technique because I feel like 
so I, I, I um, took this napkin down to one layer just in case so that you know what I'm doing but yeah um have you ever heard this thing like I remember back when I was first learning how to use word and stuff like that it'll be like are you a um, beginner intermediate expert and then there was this thing beyond expert so a beginner is obviously we, we know what a beginner is you just starting out fine then a intermediate you are learning you don't know everything yet you're still sorry I keep hitting the the tripod and I apologize let's see I have the flash on I don't think it matters with it or with it on so I turned it off keep hitting the flash of the um, tripod so I do apologize I'm sitting in a funny position I'm still trying to get my position right for this time of day um but yeah the thing was saying like okay so like I said okay intermediate medium these are the the paper parts of my girl's valentine's day things um intermediate expert so then an expert you're feeling like you know everything about the program you're so amazing at the program you know everything that there is to know okay so the thing beyond expert was when you start to know so much about the program then you start to understand how limitless that it could actually be then you you consider yourself back to an intermediate because you truly have a understanding of how little you know so <laughs> I thought that was brilliant and ever since then that's how I like look at so many things in my life like you get to this be you're at this beginner stage where you feel like you don't know anything and you you're medium you feel like you, you know some stuff but not everything you need to know then you become an expert and you just oh you know it all you know it all and then suddenly you realize oh I don't know Jack <laughs> I don't know Jack so once you realize you don't know Jack then you kind of go back to feeling like you're a um you're a uh what's the word a intermediate because you realize how little you truly do know you truly don't know so I think that that's amazing and I, that's how I like kind of look at so much stuff in my life um, so these are their, these came with my children's Valentine's Day, um, candies and they had these, it was lollipops. So they had these lips on them. So I'm trying to find some little piece of paper that I can cut and make into lips. This is my little folder that I have in the back of my book. This is my per personal journal. So let's see if I have, I want to have something that I can make into lips. Let me see if I have a picture of my kids. Here's a good picture of my kids that I can put with this. Even though it's not from today, it's still a picture that I have wanted to use somewhere in my journal. Um, yeah, I hope you guys understood the gist of, of what I was trying to explain just a second there. I feel like I was getting distracted and wasn't fully like saying everything. Also, I hope that I'm being loud enough for you guys like that. I was noticing that when I was looking at some of my other videos, like maybe I need to talk a lot louder, but um, yeah, so hopefully I'm talking loud enough. I'm just looking through here and trying to find a film. I'm trying to find something pink that I can use as lips. Something pink, something pink, something pink, something pink. Come to me pink, come to me pink thing that I can use. Because I see this, but this isn't, I feel like it might not match. No, I might just have to use it. Oh, I practiced some staining on the back. I did a bad job. I don't have the, um, um, I finally was able to get some distress ink. So that was a big win for me, but I couldn't also afford the, uh, tool. <laughs> So I've just been practicing using the distress ink, but I don't have the tool, so yeah. That's okay. I feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. A little, little bit bigger. I pretty much just, just thought about how I think lips should look and just cut using that thought. Um, but you know, feel free to use a stencil or draw it out first. 
if you're doing something like this. Yeah, I think that's bigger and that's better. I feel like I'll need to outline it so that you can see it a little bit better that it's supposed to be lips. Because the lips, I couldn't keep that part. It was like a plastic part that was on the end of their sucker. So when they were sucking the sucker, it looked like they had these huge, funny, like cute little lips, like girly lips. Ouch. My finger is still hurting. Okay, sorry. I had, I'm trying to focus on making sure these lips are big enough and, and pretty much the right shape. That's why I wasn't talking. I might cut off the bottom part because I'm trying to keep the bottom part because I'm trying to keep what it looked like. But the bottom part has this like part that's sticking up and I feel like it's going to be a nightmare to try to get it down. So I'm just going to cut it off. It's not the end of the world. Ooh, now that looks kind of creepy. Oh well. Say la vie. the language I need to learn is some French. You know what? Maybe I'll just layer it like this. Yeah, that might be cute. Oh, I destroyed this paper for nothing, but that's okay. I guess I could put some lips with it. Oh, maybe. And then there, maybe that there. And then these are the little Valentine's Day cards. they are the pieces that they use to make cards for their Daddy and in law, so I just want to put one there just so that I can remember it. And then I'll put this here, and then I think I can journal about it, or I can put it there. Um, I have this pocket here, I have this, and I could put paper in here and journal that might be kind of cool. And I could also put this in here, maybe I'll put a couple in there. I have this that was in my daughter's stuff that I had given her but she never used. Um, sometimes when I have my journaling stuff I'll put it with her supplies so she can just kind of cut and glue. But she's a little bit young and a little bit, uh, how do I say, she's um, just an excitable kid. So certain stuff is kind of just not a good idea for her. Not a good idea because she's going to do something with it that is going to make you wish that you hadn't given her permission to use scissors and glue and stuff. Huh. I'm in this picture looking like a crumb bomb. I hate it. I really want to just cut them out. I feel like this video is kind of dark, like I'm facing the wrong, like the light's coming in a different direction in here. Okay, so I'm going to turn the flashback on. <clears throat> we going to get this. We going to get this together, guys. We going to figure it out. Okay, I think I want everything like this glued down pretty much. Or even put this in the pocket through this down up there and maybe maybe something like that that's cute this is my personal journal so it does not have to have like this super magical layout that feels perfect it just has to look okay and remind me of the day that I'm trying to remember and I will do a flip through of this journal just like I did with my other journal soon because I'm starting to get through, am I to the second signature? Oh, I'm not even to the second signature yet. It's taking some time, but it may be, you know, maybe end of March if I'm still journaling and filling up to journaling um, as often as I have been. I feel like a lot of people who do this sort of art, <clears throat> who do the actual journaling part, I really don't know about the journal makers. I make journals as well, but I feel like people who make journals are a little different from people who journal. Like they, we, we seem to have different like little personality quirks and little things that we like to do and 
all that kind of stuff. So I notice people who do journaling, and I'm speaking generally, seem like they they can empathize and understand like like issues of just um like just going through a, a time period where you just kind of need a break from it because it's creative but it can also be very um it could be demanding if you start to if you if you make it that way so it can be one of those like you could just have fun with it and come back to it when you want to or you can be trying to really really document stuff and you're not um you're not in the right head space to be creative and then it starts to feel burdensome because even though it's simple it is like you do have to be in the right head space you do have to be like you know willing to open yourself up and look at things in a different way you ever have that happen where you're just kind of feeling closed off and you're just feeling like I know this is the right thing to do, or I know that this would make me feel better, but I'm not going to do it. You ever feel like that? That's kind of what I'm trying to get at. And I feel like journal makers, I feel like I see a lot more consistency from them regarding stuff like that. They seem not to go through those. Maybe it's because they, um, I mean, if you make like 12 journals, and then I don't hear that you made any journals for another two months. I I can understand that. Whereas if you're doing like a daily journal page and then you don't do a journal page for two months, it kind of seems like, hey, where'd you go? So maybe that's really what it is. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I, I hope that the, it kind of made sense where I was trying to go with that. But if it didn't, I apologize. I just use glue sticks, so I don't know how well those pieces are going to stick, but we shall see as time wears on. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And then I want to put something in here that I can write on. You can write on napkin. So maybe if I put that in there, that'll cover up the words in here enough that I can write on it and be thin enough to fold fairly well. I have run out of Mod Podge, so I have not got to Mod Podge anything for a minute now. I think that I could just use the glue stick right on top of it and it would be similar, but it's not exactly the same. And I'm kind of scared to use the glue stick on top because if I accidentally close it and the glue is shut. Uh, okay, I'm going to and just see how that turns out and hopefully it turns out good and I can write in here but if not then I'll just it'll just be like that okay so I'm gonna let that dry 